Hello guys, so today is Monday, <clears throat> January 15th, it is Martin Luther King's day, so happy Martin Luther King day, and I am currently losing my go case, yay, uh, about to do my makeup, and head to work, it is 439 I can see that 439 and I gotta be working at 5 o'clock so yeah I'm gonna do my makeup do my eyebrows and stuff but I'll see y'all in a few this is Great. Got me a sausage, egg and cheese, pick bar, some hash browns, and the frozen coffee. Yeah. It's only 7 o'clock. 7.30. Got three more hours. Hi guys, so um I just got off work. It is 10.41. Well, I just got home from work. I got off work at 10.15. Just got home from work. And, um, I'm relaxing. Um, I'm about to clean up my room. Because it really needs it. It needs a little cleaning. Even though it was clean when I got here. But after me trying to unpack all my stuff. And it's just all the stuff that I had packed is all over the place. But, okay, so, I don't think I'm wrong, but y'all tell me if I'm wrong, okay? So, if you got someone who, you know, said that they would pick you up and drop you off whenever you need it, right? They said they'd pick you up and drop you off whenever you need it, just give them a call or whatnot, whatnot. So, if you call them, you you text them at a reasonable time and ask them, can they pick you up from work? Um, Saturday, no, Friday, I worked, um, Friday I worked five, no, it was four to ten, right? Um, was it Friday? No, Saturday. Saturday I worked, um, I worked three to ten, Okay. And we ended up getting off at 9.30. So I text the person who normally takes me places. Y'all have seen him in my blog. Um, and I've te I text him and I asked him, can he pick me up at 10 o'clock? Once we got closer to time to close, um, I text him and was like, okay, it's not going to be 10 o'clock. It'll be 9.30. Can you be here at 9.30 to pick me up? Mind you, this is like 9.10 when I text him. He said, okay. So 9.30 come and we go, it's like 9.36, um, we, we leave out the door. So I go outside and I'm like, where is he? You know, he's nowhere to be found. So I'm calling him, calling him, calling him, calling him. He does not pick up the phone. The next morning he calls me and he's like, and he calls me, he texts me at like five o'clock in the morning, talking about some my bad, I fell asleep. Mind you, if... Somebody tell me they come and pick me up, then I'm not going to, you know, try to find no plan B. I'm going to stop looking right then and there. So, and then I hardly have anybody to take me to work or pick me up down here. And as I told y'all before, right now I ain't got no money. I'm kind of struggling. So, I ain't got no money on my card. I just got a couple of dollars on me. So, if somebody tells me they're going to pick me up, that's what I'm taking, you know, whatever. So, um... Yeah, I'm outside for like 45 minutes, still calling, still waiting. Nobody answers. You know, he never comes. So luckily, someone else who works in the mall that I, you know, I go in their store all the time. They're like, if you need a ride, then I'll take you. So, you know, they end up taking me home. So I was, you know, grateful but for that. But, you know, still in a matter of like, if you knew you was going to fall asleep or if you took the time to go lay down in your bed, 
You know, I understand you stay right up the street, but if you took the time to lay up in your bed and get comfortable, at that point in time, you should have texted me and been like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Um, see if you can find someone else to take you. Even though I still wouldn't have nobody to pick me up, but still, you could have just said that. So today, I, you know, text him and ask him for a ride again, and he's like, yeah, whatever. So me being me, I'm just like, be sure, you know, don't fall asleep. Don't, you know, be sure to be here at, you know, not 10 o'clock to pick me up and whatever. So he's like, um, just remember that this is a favor, not an obligation. And I'm like, I never said it was an obligation. It's just the point of the matter is if I ask you to do something from me and at that point in time you say yes, then I expect for you to do what I what you said you were gonna do. Now if you would have been like, I don't know, maybe then I wouldn't have, you know, took it as that. But if you say yeah, then I expect it. And he's talking about some well, I don't feel comfortable riding in the car with you tonight. Okay, I get off at 10 o'clock. You wait until 9.52 to talk about you don't feel comfortable riding me in the car because I'm throwing stuff in your face that you've done. I'm throwing a mistake in your face that you've done. I can see if it was the first time that you forgot about me, but this is not the first time you forgot about me. This is like the third time. So, I mean, if I'm asking you to make sure you don't fall asleep, then... You know, like, I, as I said, I can see really if this was the first time, but it's not the first time. So it just pissed me off that you wait until 9.52, knowing that I ain't got nobody else to come pick me up to be talking about some, um, I think you should find somebody else to come pick you up because I don't feel safe riding with you. Like, why don't you feel like, you know, why don't you feel comfortable? What, what am I going to do to you? You're... You're my driver. What am I going to do do to you? But, I mean, it, it is what it is. I'm home now. It is Monday. We have class tomorrow. I don't have class until 5 o'clock. So, I'm about to, as I said, clean up my room, relax, and I guess just get ready to go to class tomorrow. Um, yeah. I don't know, y'all. Just tell me if I'm wrong or whatnot, but yeah. So I got off, as I said, I got off work at 10 o'clock, 10, 15, and it's 10, 45. It was like 10, 10 when I got off work. It's 10, 45, and I had to wait for a taxi to come pick me up. Luckily, I had a couple of extra dollars in my purse to get home, so. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Toodles. Hey guys, good morning. So right now it is about 2.40, it is 2.42 in the morning and I just got finished cleaning up. So I finally gave in, well actually I was frustrated, highly frustrated and I needed to do something productive to get my mind off of what I was thinking about. So yeah, I decided to clean up and I just got finished cleaning up and let's see how long this lasts. I'm about to show y'all. My clean house. Yeah. I cleaned my room. I cleaned the bathroom. I cleaned the kitchen. I washed dishes. I did all that stuff. So, again, about to show y'all what it looked like. And let's see how this lasts. This is my room. Clean, clean, clean. Clean room. Alright. This is my bathroom. Clean bathroom. Don't mind how I look. <laughs> and the dining room. Set the trash by the door because there's men in here. Um, they can take it out. The, um, Oh yeah, I had to go outside and just take a breather for a little bit and then come back in and go night night. Don't mind the way my closet looks, it's just all my junk. I have my closet so small and my room so small so I gotta throw my junk in there. But yeah, see y'all later, good night. Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, it's 12.45 right now. 
and I'm just getting out of the bed. I'm about to uh, do my makeup and get ready for this interview. I have an interview at Haynes today. It's also part time. So, hope everything goes well with that. Um, you guys wish me luck. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started on my makeup. See y'all. Oh, hey guys, um, done with my interview. Right now I'm at Audi's doing some shopping, some grocery shopping. <sighs> yeah. And then I'm about to go home and get ready for class trying to find me some chicken Hey guys, so I just got home from Aldi's and I'm about to unpack my stuff and put it up. Uh, I ain't gonna cook today. I'm just gonna probably make me a sandwich and some noodles later. But yeah, I'm about to go eat my Jimmy John's and get ready for class. It's about to be crucial. Hopefully he let us out early since it's the first day. Hopefully we ain't got nothing to do today. But yeah, see y'all later. Hi right, guys, so on my way to class, I'm late. Supposed to be there at 2.30, I'm at 5.30, it's 5.37. But I'm about to walk in class. Good afternoon guys. Today is Wednesday. What is the January it is 17th? I'm out of breath because I'm on my bike. Um on my way to my AMP class. It is 12:32. I was supposed to be there at 12:30. But yeah. Just saying good morning to you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Now, when I say this, I always have a few students sit and think, wait. I just made this some soup. Mm, it's, it's so good. It's so good. But corn, corn string beans, potatoes, a can of mixed vegetables, which has like corn, carrots, potatoes, and something else. And then there's some chili beans. Yeah, that was so good. Mix it all together. Oh yeah, and I got some chicken in here too. Some chicken. It's so good, y'all.